What's happening, YouTube? We at you with the spool update, man. Show you how to build your own custom spool. Um, first off, these are your grub screws. You can get these off of eBay for like fifteen dollars. And then um, this is your eight mil eight millimeter shaft that I'm gonna use. You can use eight, five millimeter, whatever millimeter for the setup that you're gonna use. But I'm using eight millimeter because I think that'll be more sturdier setup. And um, this right here are HPI's uh, eight by nineteen millimeter cup joints. Eight by nineteen millimeter, what you'll have to use for this uh, eight millimeter shaft. And these, this right here, are some raceways, well bearings that I had out of my Hyper GT uh, B. These right here uh, are replaced the with this Acer ceramic bearings. So I crushed these to get the center pieces out of them. Try not to crush them too hard because you don't want to distort these and then they don't fit on your shaft and then that's a waste. And this right here is the gear that I got from Saga Customs. This is a nice beefy gear. It comes with uh, two grub screw holes. It comes with two grub screws also, but I didn't use them because I wanted to use the shinier ones. Go figure, that's what I wanted to use. But, um... This right here is a shaft that I have cut. I only got an inch and a half for my spool. This is just an inch and a half shaft. And I got my flat spots cut into it for the gear and the cup joints. You want to definitely cut your flat spots. I hope I'm not too close. You want to definitely cut your flat spots, you know, kind of deep. So this way you actually have a, a home to go down into. The grub screw actually burrows down into it. And that right there is pretty much it. I want to also uh, take a, take a minute and shout out uh, Rockbud Forty Three because if it wouldn't have been for Rockbud Forty Three, I wouldn't have found out about um, Saga Customs because he was a, pretty much one of the the first and only person that I actually seen uh, where his work is the uh, Saga Customs work on his a lot of his vehicles. He's got a lot of his uh, stuff on his vehicles, and uh, I wanted to shout him out. He's a, great guy both of them all right now we're going to go ahead and get into the installation i'm gonna go ahead and put it together so you can see how this right here will be a spool in a couple of seconds y'all bear with me i'm gonna hang y'all out right here real quick and get it together all right so now you'll take your shaft take your shaft like that Got your uh, flat spots out. You take your cup joint and then put your your flat spot in, so this way you can see it went in where the grub screw was at, and then you just tighten it down. I'm not going to use Loctite on this because this is just a test one and for a uh, demonstration shake, but you're definitely going to want to use Loctite on all of your uh, grub screws. This was a spacer I just put on there. This spacer right here. I'm just using one of the spacers for now put them on like that and then I'm gonna take my gear and I'm gonna line them up so the flat spots will be right where they need to be at probably hold them a little bit so it doesn't move and then I'm gonna tighten it down that's one grub screw and this will be the second grub screw then you're gonna to want to come with another spacer like that and then another spacer so that would be two spacers on the end right there and then you put your cup joint on the end and lock them down oh, there it go yeah and that's your spool fellas that's your spool and then you won't have to you can run any kind of pinion gear you want you know any kind of setup pretty much you can run some real ridiculous gear setups with your uh, spool because you can put any kind of pinion you want on here and you know you run a, a a bigger gear on your motor than you do on your on your spool then you're definitely going to turn out some serious numbers but that's it man you see how it comes like right to the end of the cup you don't want it to protrude through the cup you just want it to come right to the end I kinda eyeballed this one I didn't really even measure 
I measured the inch, the in, the the length of it, and I seen that it was an inch and a half. And I was like, well, we'll try that first. Like I said, it's a test one. I'm gonna see how it fits when I go to put it in. If it doesn't fit perfect, I'm gonna take it apart and make one that does. And then we're gonna run it like that. I'm gonna get some uh, little rubber, little rubber spacers, and I'm gonna put them inside of here so that the dog bones don't uh, touch or rattle back and forth too bad. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. That's the spool in its entirety. <clears throat> I hope y'all. I hope it helped y'all out. I hope y'all like it. You know, like, subscribe. I hope it helped you. So this way, maybe if you were having issues with your center diff, you can just toss your center diff all the way around now, make you a spool, and you will never have any more issues because this is gonna help out a whole lot. Eliminate any kind of little planetary gears that are gonna get destroyed or crushed. But yeah, man. Um, hopefully I covered everything, and y'all got you know any all the information that you need, so that you're able to do this on your own. But if not, man, you know, drop me a contact. Let me know something you want to talk about. You want to get some information on, and I'll get back at you. You know, what I'm saying my earliest convenience or whatnot. But like I said, man, I hope this has helped y'all out. And that was uh, Spool 101, and school is done. So y'all get out there and build you some. Hallo.